Brent crude seesawed around unchanged on Monday as North Sea production delays, Middle East turmoil and supported economic data tempered price pressure from slowing economic growth and an offer from Iran to negotiate the halting of higher-grade uranium enrichment. U.S. crude, gasoline and heating oil futures all fell more than 1%. North Sea production curbs and Brent's price sensitivity to potential supply disruptions in a volatile Middle East underpinned Brent and pushed its premium to U.S. crude to $24.20 a barrel intraday, highest since October 17, 2011. Volatility in the Brent U.S. crude Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Price spread is expected ahead of the Brent November crude contracts expiration at the end of Tuesday's session. Brent was lifted on Monday by news of more delays in restarting Nexon's and Exidol to Buzzard Field, Britain's largest North Sea field, after maintenance. Senior Iranian officials said Tehran would negotiate on halting higher-grade uranium enrichment if given fuel for a research reactor, reviving the previous offer and putting the possibility of restarting stalled nuclear talks with world powers back in play for oil investors. A stronger dollar index. DXE also provided pressure on thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Dollar denominated crude oil, as the euro fell against the U.S. currency as investors waited for more clarity on a potential bailout for Spain. That bailout was expected to be dealt with alongside the revised loan program for Greece and a bailout for Cyprus. Brent November crude edged up 10 cents to $114.72 a barrel by 12.18 p.m. EDT 16.18 GMT having swung from $113.58 to $115.37. U.S. November crude was down 86 cents at $91 a barrel, having dropped as low as $89.79 to test support below the 100-day moving average of $89.88. A thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Technical level monitored closely by chart-watching traders and analysts. U.S. November RBOB gasoline was down 3.28 cents at $2.86 a gallon back below its 100-day moving average of $2.8790. November heating oil slipped 3.44 cents to $3.1895 a gallon. Continued robust production from Saudi Arabia and healthy U.S. crude oil inventories, pegged by the government at 28 million barrels above the year-ago period in the week to October 5, also helped limit any lift crude prices received from supportive data from China and the United States. Data over the weekend showed thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. China's September exports grew at roughly twice the rate expected, while imports also increased, possibly an indication that measures to spur growth in the world's second largest economy are working. But exports to the European Union EU China's biggest overseas market fell for a fourth month and crude demand in China remained relatively weak even with a sharp rise in September imports versus August. U.S. retail sales rose in September as Americans bought more of everything from cars to gasoline and electronics, but oil analysts noted the higher receipts at retail fuel. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Stations reflected higher pump prices and could hamper consumer spending in other areas.